All right, this one's pretty easy, only three chords. There is a little weird thing, kind of. If you just play it this way, there's nothing weird. But so the video I watched to learn how to play the song, she does like a weird tuning thing and then changes the chord shape. Basically, she plays the exact same notes, but the way the tuning is just only makes the song harder. So I'm just gonna do it in standard tuning. I'm gonna show you the, the way I saw her play it live after. But if you just care about playing the song and making it sound exactly like it does on the record, then you really have no need to learn the other way. I figure it's probably just there's another song in that tuning and she didn't feel like changing mid-set. I really have no idea why. But yeah, so basically, this I'm going to teach you this version, which same notes. And then I'll show you what I mean by how she plays it the other way. So basically... The verses, like except for the chorus, which is only like maybe 30 seconds of the song, it just alternates between these two chords. And you're basically going to take an A major bar chord, but instead of barring, you're only going to touch the E string with your first finger. So it's. And then these two are open. And then you're going to slide that up to the seventh fret. Five, seven, seven, six, open, open. Seven, nine, nine, eight, open, open. Those are two chords for the whole song. And then the chorus, she just throws in an F sharp minor. This one is barred all the way. I knew when I met you, you the one I wanna be with. Two chords. So I can see you. F sharp minor. So in the future that I'm dreaming. And that's the whole song, basically. So the way I saw her play it live, the A string was tuned down to an A flat, so. And instead of doing just the normal A major shape, she did this shape. It's the exact same notes, exact same chord, just harder. But this is the way I saw her actually play it. So how you do this is you still um, first finger, fifth fret, E string, no bar. Then you're gonna go pinky, ring, middle all kind of in a row like this coming down from the A string so you basically have to you know make the same shape you would to make that first chord but you're gonna move your um, third finger down a string and then your pinky has to come over and up a string because this has been down tuned so this isn't the same note so you have to move it up so it's five eight seven six open open You slide it up to seven, ten, nine, eight, open, open. Sounds exactly the same. But for accuracy's sake. And then, yeah, this F sharp minor, you just, instead of doing this, where it's nice and easy, you have to move your uh, third finger down and then move your pinky over one. So it's two, five, four, two, two, two. And it adds a fun little stretch. But it's still the same thing. Wasting all my time Wondering if you really love me Cause I've been spending all my time Yeah, exact same thing. But yeah, that's how you play Blossom by Soccer Mommy. Play whichever way. You feel like playing this way makes you look like you're better at guitar because it's harder so if you're interested in that that's really the only reason to play it this way i would play it the first way but yeah let me know if there's any questions thanks